Recover. Uh, my name is Jim McGann from Index Engines. I'll be taking you through this post attack recovery. So, what CyberSense does is detect that something's happened within a data replication cycle, whether it be a snapshot or a backup. Um, and then you want to investigate the who, what, where, and when of what happened, and then figure out what is the, the smartest or the, the fastest way to recover. So, in terms of the detection, CyberSense can generate an alert. Um, in the Dell Cyber Recovery Vault, it goes into their Cyber Recovery dashboard. Um, there's an email alert that comes out as well, but a lot of the larger customers are using syslog output um, and integrating it with their SEAM or source systems like Splunk um, and integrating it with that security workflow. So a lot of customers are saying, I don't, I don't even want to see your interface. I just want you, your alerts and your information coming into to my existing environment. Um, we have this dashboard that allows you to figure out the who, what, where, and when of what happened, which I'll show you uh, quickly. Um, and then in terms of recovery, you're going to get a full listing of files with the, the, the date and the time and, and what backup they were on that was corrupted. So if you are, and we've had customers that have had attacks and have used this as a self-service, a, a lot of times when customers get attacked, they'll call their insurance company and the insurance company will bring in expensive consultants to help them recover. We've had customers that have just used this, figured out what happened and recovered themselves you know, very quickly and said, oh, we can just do this because we understand exactly what happened. Um, as an example of a utility company that was attacked, they, their biggest issue is they recovered in a couple days and they had no data loss whatsoever. So, again, I'm going to go quick here. Again, this is the dashboard here, so I have a, about a minute or so left. But you'll see here the types of attacks that occurred. You get a detailed description of what happened. So this is what the machine learning kicks out and saying, this is what the machine learning saw and why it sent an alert out. It's like, in this case, Files, entropy increased, and all sorts, you know, it gives you exactly the detail of why it triggered an alert. But down below here, these are all customizable. You'll see there were about 36 suspicious files on those four hosts, and you could drill into that and see, you know, what hosts they were, what folders they existed in, what time they were corrupted, when they were, what last backup they, they existed on. When there's corruption that occurs, CyberSense will tag um, all the corrupt files, and it'll also tag all the last good version of the files as well. So um, at that point, you can understand what you need to do for a recovery process. Um, customers, the thing that we hear from customers is the level of confidence. I can sleep at night. I look for a red light, green light. If it's red light, I'm trouble. Green light, I'm good kind of thing. So it's that level of they just want to set it and forget it. And, and if they see some, something, they want to be able to say, hey, what happened? What do I need to do? And, and it's just a good level of confidence. Uh, licensing, it's capacity based on how much capacity is being analyzed. It's term licenses sold through strategic partners, um, you know, just different models based on different customers, you know.